Okay, welcome back to round one. You're here with Dave Whitelaw. We are playing my first ever Ether Revolt draft, also my first time attempting to record it. And we are heading into round one with blue white flyers. Let's see how we get on. Well, we won the die roll, so that's always a good start. Uh, let me just make that a little bit bigger so you guys can all see. Um, okay, so this is definitely a capable hand, uh, a solid hand. Uh, we've got two drop, three drop, four drop, so we're normally pretty happy to keep a hand like this. Uh, so we are going to do that. We'll keep and we'll crack on. Pretty happy with this hand, uh, pretty solid. Uh, we can definitely do something with this, so... Let's uh, push on with this. I, mean, I guess the quest big first question is going to be whether we want to uh, play uh, Restoration Gear Smith, uh, Rest Restoration Specialist, or um, Ninth Bridge Patrol first. I think we're going to want to play uh, the Specialist uh, a bit more. Well, I don't know. It's close between these two. I think maybe the Ninth Bridge Patrol is the pick. Um, it's close, it's close. I think I'm going to play Ninth Bridge Patrol actually and just hold the Restoration Gear uh, Specialist back. I know it's an extra damage, um, but uh, I think uh, having the element of surprise there with the Restoration Gear Smith is probably worth it. Okay, Ether Swooper, sure. Okay, so we can, uh, we can jam Herald of the Fear and swing here, which I think is probably the right plan. Let's try that. In for two, early on. Pretty happy with how it's going. It'd be good if we get a land next turn. Uh, Reckless Fireweaver, okay, that's fine. Uh, obviously the Herald can swing into that, so we're not too worried about that. I presume my opponent's going to swing and make a guy. I think I'm okay with trading the Fireweaver for the Herald of the Fairy there, uh, here. Or am I? Hmm. We have decisions to make here. I think I will. I think I'm, I think I'm okay with that trade. Yeah, so let's try that and see what happens. Okay, my point is choose to take damage, which I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with. Uh, and we will make a guy. Uh, I'm definitely going to make a guy here because obviously for the Ninth Bridge Patrol it's uh, it's relevant. So we will uh, make another guy instead. Uh, seems more important. So let's do that. It would be nice if we got the land drop there, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Going to play something a little bit bigger this time. Okay, reverse engineer. Okay. Okay, uh, very strong. Obviously, he has to tap a creature to do that, so uh, I'm okay with that. Really would have liked to see uh, another land by now, but okay. So let's uh, let's jam with our guys and see what my opponent does. Of course, my opponent can just uh, block here and take the three. Let's see what he does. Let's play that. My opponent could double block, potentially, the, the Glitzy Vartisan. But I would be pretty okay with that. And he's taking the damage, wow, okay. Well, we can, we can, we can dig that. Uh, I think I'm okay with just playing the Renegade here uh, and accepting the fact that we're not gonna... We're so far ahead that I think we're okay that we can do that. Ah, we punted there. We didn't leave the blue mana up for the Select for Inspection. That was a complete punt. Uh, not good, not clever, uh, and that could be relevant later on, so that's a bit frustrating. Insidious Will. Hmm. I think, again, I'm okay with jamming with the Herald of the Fair. Um, if he wants to trade it for the for the Embril, I'm okay with that, I think. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. My 
Corn has taken a lot of damage so far, which I don't think he really needed to take. Yeah, I'm absolutely happy with that trade. Obviously, getting the counter on the Ninth Bridge Patrol. We will then play, we won't make the same mistake twice. We'll play Restoration Specialist and, uh, and pass. Another mana here would be very good. My opponent's in a much better shape here, mana wise. Give Seeker Serpent, okay. I don't, I don't think I want to select for inspection that, necessarily. Dead Eye Harpooner. Unfortunately, we can't... Well, we have options here. Uh, we could just swing with something like the... The... I mean, I think I'd rather swing with the servo. And if he wants to block it, then we can... Uh, but the thing is that um, tapping down the ether, you know, killing the ether super with the dead eye harpooner doesn't seem that strong. I think uh, doing it instead on something like the gear seeker uh, seems much stronger here. So I think we probably just want to pass. It does feel a little bit weak. We obviously can't attack into the gear seeker serpent, and despite the fact we're flyers, we're not actually doing much flying here. So I think, I think passing here is okay. I mean, my opponent knows that he can only really attack with the swooper. Okay, so he is attacking with the the gear seeker serpent as well. Okay, that's interesting. So we're obviously going to put the. Uh, We're going to put the servo in front of the the gear seeker serpent. Buffing up the the ninth bridge patrol, which is obviously very relevant here because it's now three three. You can swing through these guys. Another gear seeker serpent. Okay, that's pretty solid. And we're going to bounce the first one back to our opponent's hand. And we'll keep that. Uh, are we going to keep that on top? Um, we really need the land. I think we are. I think we have to keep that on top. So let's do that. Get our land. And we'll play Untethered Express. We were in good shape here with the Restoration Specialist. If the Untethered Express dies, then we can uh, get back the Herald of the Fair and the Express. So I'm not too worried here. Implement of improvement, sure. I mean, that could be relevant. If, if he keeps on playing artifacts, we could be in bad shape here. He has drawn very well. Fleet wheel cruiser. Wow, okay. That's a thing. Oh my goodness. And yeah, he's going to do another two damage. And we know that he's also got the gear seeker serpent in hand, so this is a very good draw for our opponent. We're probably in bad shape here. just deciding what to do. I mean, he knows I'm probably going to block the fleet, wheel, the fleet wheel cruiser, so... Okay. So we're going to crew up the... Uh, the Untethered Express. Uh, and then the question is what we block with. Uh, I think we're going to block with the Artisan and the Untethered Express. Or oh, actually, we don't need to block necessarily with the Untethered Express. We could block with and keep. Them. It does make our. It does make our. The, the question is, do we want to lose these two guys? I mean, he could have a trick as well. Do we want to lose these two guys, knowing that we can get them back? 
I think we're going to block like that actually and take the one damage. It does make our dawn our dawn feather ego worse as well, though. However, uh, yeah, let's do it like that. I'm not sure that's the right call, but let's. If our opponent has a trick, then obviously it's going to be a blowout. This is going to bump our Ninth Bridge Patrol up as well, so I think this is probably the right play. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have a trick or we're in bad shape. Yeah, okay. Ether Theorist. We've really drawn badly here, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, we really can't take advantage of, for example, the dead eye higher uh, the, the dead eye harpooner here. I'm going to play the out uh, the uh, the etherist, which obviously can then power the express. I don't think we can really afford to attack with the express here. Well, we can't obviously because we've got five six on the board. Um, at least the theorist can um, crew the tether uh, on tethered express. So I think that's what we're going to do here. Ah, of course, it can't be blocked. I forgot about that. That is going to be a problem. We really need to, we really need to make sure we trigger the attacks with those both. Thankfully, we can we can deal with the we can deal with the Gear Secret Express next turn, which is something. Okay. So we are going to sacrifice. Uh, Make the Ninth Bridge Patrol that little bit bigger. I think I made a mistake there. I think I think I made to return a creature and I've misclicked. But anyway, okay. Not much we can do about that. Let's say uh, Dead Eye Harpoon is killing the the Gear Seeker. We are still not in great shape here. We need to be very careful. Um, we don't want to go down to too low a life total. Um, I think what we want to do is just tether... Uh, crew up the Untethered Express and swing. My opponent has some decisions to make here. A select for inspections. Wow, that's fantastic here. Okay, it does make the ninth bridge patrol again a little bit bigger. We can scry next turn as well, which could be relevant. I'm quite annoyed I made that mistake with the restoration specialist. I think I might have misclicked there as well. So a couple of mistakes this game already may cost us. Uh, hopefully not. We do, I don't know if we necessarily have a way to deal with that uh, Gear Seeper Serpent, which is going to be a problem. It can swing on block next turn. I was worried about the lack of removal in this deck, and it has uh, come to pass. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be game. Our opponent has drawn very well. Uh, the uh, the reverse engineer was 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 huge. I don't think the Hinterland Drake saves us here. I think we're I think we're just dead. I think he makes them unblockable next turn. So yeah, I think we concede that game. Unfortunately. Now what do we want to bring in? Do we see anything? My opponent wasn't actually using, I mean, I'm looking at decommission, for example, but I didn't see a lot of relevant, uh, well, there were some artifacts, I suppose. Um, decommission might be worth considering here. Perhaps with something like Insidious Will. Ninth Bridge Patrol did a lot of work for us here, so it might be worth considering. I think I might board out the Eddie Trail Hawk and bring in the second Ninth Bridge Patrol. It was very good there. Um, decommission is also worth considering. Um... I think I'm just going to go with that. I don't think I've seen enough artifacts to make it worth the decommission popping in. Let's try that and see how we get on. 
a bit disappointing in that game. We, we we had a very good start in hand, uh, but we kind of got stuck on man a little bit. Uh, we ran 17 land to try and avoid that. That really didn't help. So some you win, some you lose. I think if we'd drawn a little bit better, we'd have been in really good shape there. We will play first. This hand's fine. Not amazing, but it's pretty good. Implement of combustion street out there. Another land, okay. We'll, we'll play out the Renegade. Okay, point doesn't do anything, so that's interesting. You know, we're not going to do anything this turn either, we're flooding a little bit. Okay, Windrake, we're obviously going to be tapping that down. Too relevant. Maverick Thopterist. I don't think we actually want to play the uh, the uh, the Dawn Feather Eagle yet. I think I'd rather get the. Uh, if my opponent wants to. Um, Double kill here. I'm I'm kind of okay with that. I think. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think. Oh, that two damage doesn't come back to bite us in the bum. Complete misclick. Made quite a few misclicks here. It's a little bit frustrating. His right ambition. Hmm. I think I'm okay with playing Dawn Feather Eagle here. We'll swing with the Herald. Again, I think I'm reasonably happy with that trade. We traded up there for sure. And this time we've got the inevitability in terms of card draw. Uh, we've also got land, we've got land in hand, we're sandbagging a little bit. Your secret servant, I'm okay with. Select for inspection. Well, wow, okay, that is relevant here. So we will um we'll swing with our Dawn Feather Eagle first. Opponent chooses not to chump. We will then play Terzeret's Ambition. Wow, okay. That's a very good draw. I'm very happy with I'm very happy to see that. I think we can almost risk taking the five here from the Gear Seeker Serpent, knowing that um you know it puts him back so far substantially, it's probably worth the five damage. I'm quite happy to trade these two off here as well. Or am I? Do we want to take nine here? It might be worth considering. I think I'm okay with taking nine here, you know. I think I'm going to do that. It might be a mistake. Still worried about that two damage. It's playing in my head. Okay. 
Go at once me, that's fine. We got our own select for inspection. Hunter on Drake. Uh, do we want to keep that? We maybe do. And then we can call it in the brights the yeah, I think we want to keep that. Yeah, let's keep that. Obviously, we then have the capacity to call it in the bright as his, uh, his next play. Okay, he selects for inspection as well. Okay, that's fine. So we can then play... Um, well, we can swing for two first and foremost. And we're going to play Hinterland Drake and Ninth Bridge Patrol. Leaving up the blue again, make it just, in, just so our opponent thinks about select for inspection. Okay, so our opponents, uh, it looks like our opponent might have a trick. I'm quite willing to go and see it though. I mean, we still get the bump on the Ninth Bridge Patrol then, so if our opponent has a trick, that's fine. He does, okay, I'm kind of surprised at that. He replays uh, Gear Seeker Serpent, which is fine. We are going to then play Caught in the Brights. We will uh, swing with everything. And our opponent knows and has to respect the fact that we still have uh, the uh, Dawn, Feather, Dawn Feather Eagle in hand. So he has to kill us here, really, or he's in bad shape. Of course, if he has any kind of bounce spell here for the Gear Seeker Serpent, then we're in terribly bad shape. I mean, we're just straight out uh, dead, so. Okay, another Gear Seeker Serpent, that's fine. And a Reckless Fire Weaver, okay. Do we have to do some combat math here? Uh, opponent has no flyers. He can block, block, block. We might just be dead here. No, we're not dead necessarily because he can only swing for five. So we can um, play the fella dark. So we're, we're, what we're going to do is, um, even if you make some unblockable, I think we're in okay shape. So we're going to um, we're going to swing with the hinterland drake. Put our opponent to. Three. Uh, we'll then play Felidar Guardian, bouncing the Countless Gearsmith, which uh, should give us another creature. And put counters on the uh, Ninth Bridge Patrol. pass. Our opponent can obviously put us to one here and there's nothing we can do about it because of the ability um, but he can only put us to one. If he has another artifact then we're dead. Yeah, okay. So we won that one. We made it. It was close but we made it. Uh, the Night Bridge Patrol again doing very good work there. Very pleased with that. It was a close game. That was a very close game. We had to, we had to fight through that. I don't think... I keep on thinking about um, putting decommission in. Uh, it is tempting. I think I think we're okay. I think we can just run this back. That was a better draw that time, which was good. I'm very pleased that two life didn't make the difference. Uh, obviously, we have to mulligan this. Uh, a little bit disappointing. I can't keep that. This is not great, but I think we have to keep. 
Uh, and we'll put that to the bottom. This is a disappointing hand. This could be a horrible way to go out. Pacification array seems really strong here. Okay, so that's a little bit better. It gives us something to do, uh, at least on turn three. Pacification array is huge here. Oh my goodness, that's a sick start from our opponent. Amazing. Uh, he'll be very pleased with that, obviously. The good thing is he's not pressuring the board too much, but you know he's going to have a stacked hand there. So that's a little bit worrying. Our opponent isn't doing much though, which is kind of weird. Of course, he can tap down uh, on his turn. So um, yeah. Sure. We can't really do much else here. Um, yeah. But this tying up our opponent's mana. I'm, I, I'm wondering what's in my opponent's hand. I mean, I guess he's got multiple. I mean, he can play Gear Seeker Serpent now, so I'm guessing that's going to be his play. Yeah, sure. We can swing here. Uh, oh, no, we can't, of course, because. Okay, yeah, it's not so good. We're not in great shape here, actually. Um, oh, we can play Age of Tomaton with Conviction. No, we can't even do that because of our lack of mana. Yeah, this is not a good spot. I think we just play Age of Tomaton. I don't think there's any reason not to, but we're 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 struggling here now. Our opponent potentially has another Gear Seeker Serpent in hand, and there's not really much we can do about it. We're not going to block, but if my opponent plays another Gear Seeker Serpent here, which I suspect is what's coming, then we're in we're in bad shape. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Hmm. Yeah, this is not good. We've been uh, we've been pretty unlucky here, to be honest. Um. We can play Conviction on um, the Aegis Automaton, which al at least allows us to block one of them. Seems pretty weak, but that's that's where we're at right now, so we'll, we'll do that and pass. Yeah, we can't attack here, obviously, so let's, uh, let's pass and see what happens. Yeah, our opponent's going to pass for one and draw a card. Opponent's been very lucky in seeing, yeah, of course, he's got the pacification array. I forgot that's even their own board trick. You should have really seen that, but hey ho. Opponent's going to attack with both. Um, I think we have to jump here. Uh, if we see another land here, we can uh, bounce the conviction and get the dead eye harpooner down, but yeah, we didn't. Uh, we didn't get there, so I guess we caught in the brights one of these guys. Uh, pass. Yeah, if we can get another land, we're still in this because we can kill the other gear seeker serpent. So, but we do need we do need to um, we do need to steal our land next turn or, or or obviously this is going to be game. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, I think that's game. Yeah. Yeah, we're down. That's it. We didn't get we, we, the, the mulligan hurt us too hard, and uh, that's that's uh, match one. Unfortunately, done and dusted in the bag. Uh, so we're one 0 down. Uh, hopefully, you will stick around. It will draw a little bit better, and we'll see what happens in round two.